I'm not running around in a circle, I'm just trying to avoid these enemies. You said exorcists bind Malachim's free will. Yeah. We've lived in this land a long time, and we're our own folk, just like humans. Only a small portion of humans, those with strong resonance, like the exorcists, were able to perceive our existence. But the advent changed that. Now Malachim can be seen by ordinary people. We're being robbed of our free will and made into obedient tools. Damn. Humans praise Artorias for providing a miraculous new weapon against demons. But Malachim aren't mere objects. So he, Malachim so Artorias created the Malachim. They are. As far as Artorias is concerned, Malachim, demons, and humans are all nothing more than tools. Everything in service to his utopia of reason. And that's all anyone is to him. Even my brother. Yeah. Kinda of sucks. Don't get overconfident. No escape! Let's go! Damn it. Unarmed? Hardly. These are deadly weapons. Huh. What'll it take to make you go all out? <laughs> I love this banter. But damn it. This game is actually pretty damn fun. So it's about to want to stop playing. I have to record it every time I want to play it. There's no point in restarting the game on my own time and then having to be like, oh, I spoiled this and I have to play through this. I guess it's cool to see my own new reality. Oh my god. The bastards are getting annoying as hell falling out the ceiling like that. 35? Jesus! Rose Corsage. I guess it's fashion related. Oh, 35 cats for that? It's kind of like a ripoff. And of course, I can't make it through there because the game says no. So we have to go around the other way. I don't want to fight no more enemies, man. They keep falling out the goddamn ceiling. It's disturbing. Really? Like, like, really? I already hate the prospect of anything being above me and I can't see until it's too late, let alone anything falling down. That's like one thing that creeps me out the most. Things I can't see. Rush straight. Hey, Scorpion. Not today. Okay, there's clearly someone over there. A merchant, perhaps? I, mean, I would be surprised if it was a merchant. They look like one of those um, members of the Abbey. Or not. Titles! Titles! Uh... A turtle demon or something? No, no, you got it all wrong! I'm the White Toitles. Sorry about spooking you, Zol. This came out of nowhere? Demon. What the hell is then this? Perhaps you're a Moloch. Nope. I'm just a plain old Toitles. Nothing more and nothing less. I'm sure you guys have lots of questions about me. But for now, I'd appreciate it if you could hold off on them. Uh, Who right. is this guy voiced sure, by? I swear to God, bought in the hell out of you. obliged. The turtles are traveling merchants of considerable. Okay, I knew he's a merchant, but their services that voice. can be quite useful for members of the underworld like us. You don't say. Sounds handy. You betcha. And that old white turtle shop. We believe the customer's smile is what matters most. That being said, this being where it is, my prices Meow? unfortunately might be a little on the high. Oh no, you're going to give us a bargain. <laughs> I'd love to do that, sis. 
But when you do business out in remote areas like this, the costs add up and, well... You're just taking advantage of the situation. Um, I can't entirely deny that, but... Then that settles it. You'll do business with us at market prices, and that's final. We should seal the deal with a smile, too, since it matters so much to him. Like this. Uh, much obliged. <laughs> Can I say I like this game? God damn. Right, let's see. Do I even need anything? I mean, other than healing items, because I need that. Daggers, blades, and you still enhance weaponry. But uh, I might as well enhance it, what I got, because it's the best weapon I got. Oh, yeah, that's the best one I got now. Speaking of enhancements. Is that his weapon or is Oh, it's his protection. Okay. Shadow daggers. Blood blacking with that. Uh, plain paper. I feel like I'm gonna run. I'm a, yeah, I knew I had a feeling I was gonna I ran out of goddamn material. I knew it. I knew it. Wonder is virtue. Increase math movement. What? Did he literally sell out? Huh. Oh, I must have, oh, I must have hit the maximum. Maximum um, store size for the items. Ah, fine, let's kill it. Don't waste my time. I probably should have read that what that was. Okay, let's keep moving. I might have to quick save this one. I don't mind this save. What's wrong with me? <laughs> you sure know how to drive a hard bargain, Velvet. What else was I supposed to do? Would you rather I devoured him and swiped all his stuff? You're more frightening than the Reaper. Still, that Turtles was an interesting guy. It's a big world, kid. A lot of strange folks out there. So I'm discovering. <laughs> he probably took one look at us and thought the very same thing. Mm-hmm. Look at us. A demon, a Moloch, and a Reaper. We've got it all. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> yeah, look at our band of weirdos here. Well, you know what? It, it's not the journey. I mean, it's not the it's not the uh, destination we're headed to. It's the journey. What are turtles anyway? Some sort of turtle men. Yeah, but what are they? They are what they are. All you need to know is that they're good at peddling things. They're probably just called turtles because they wear all those sea turtle shells on their backs. After all, Rokuro means sixth son, and that's what I am. I was Teresa's second tethered Malakim, so I was number two. Hey, Phil, explain where your name came from. That's a title, not a name. Huh? Would someone just give the kid a name already? A name? For me? Come on, Velvet, give him the damn name. You know you want to name him Lavi. Say, you name him, you adopt him, you name him. <laughs> damn it, Velvet, if you're going to adopt the kid, give him a name. Wait a minute, what? A, what am I doing? No, 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 no. Go back, go back. Damn it. If you're going to adopt the kid, give him a freaking name already. You ain't playing with fire here, Velvet. I mean, I was gonna say that before I hit actually used the kindling, but whatever. I'll fight when I wanna fight. I ain't got damn these. So like, if Rokuro's family, like he's the sixth son, does that mean he has more children? Like he has more siblings? So there's 
it must be Ichiro, Nero. Like, I'm, I'm just using this as like a basis of if he had siblings, right? So it'd be Ichiro for one, Nero for two, Sanro for three, either uh, Yoro for four, you know, Yonro for four, and Goro for five, and then Rokuro. Or Shiro for four, because Yon, Yon and Shi are like the same thing, so there's that. Where am I going? Head. Damn. And of course, the game is not telling me. But I think I'm headed somewhere, so let's go over there and see. But yeah. So let's see Ichiro, Nero, Sanro, either Shiro or Yonro. Shiro makes more sense than Yonro, though. For four. Looks like Eifried's first mate has a strange superstition. It's just a habit. Only comes up tails anyway. What land did that coin come from? I've never seen a coin with a goddess on one side and the reaper on the other. Strictly speaking, that's not the reaper on the back. It's an image of the demon king, Daos. Where have I heard that name before? Martell the goddess. And Daos... The Demon King, The Book of Ragnarok, Chapter 765, The Battle of Yggdrasil. If I hear Yggdrasil in one more oh, JRPG, I'm going to freaking... The coin was stolen oh. from some ancient ruins in another land. I'm sick of hearing Yggdrasil, man. Every, or, nearly every JRPG. Oh, Yggdrasil. soft, ordinary gold, but they had some process to harden the metal and make it resistant to scratches. Wow, that's a rather rare find, then. Do you like to read books? Teresa's chamber was full of them. So I spent a lot of time reading. Ragnarok is a record of battles from the Age of Myth. I've read it several times now. <laughs> anyway, coins like that are hard to come by. Where did you get it? It's a long story. Never mind then. So, were you deciding something with that coin toss? Not anything I can talk about yet. Oh, I'm sorry for prying. I hear Yggdrasil in one more JRPG, I'm going to flip. Man, I know Norse mythology is popular in JRPGs, but come on, man. It's like so many other things to use. I love Norse mythology, but if I hear Yggdrasil one more goddamn time, I'm going to throw myself on a cliff. And that's not going to be good for anybody. Okay, how the hell am I supposed to get off this cliff? Oh, man. There's no guard. Do we just go in? Wait. This isn't what I expected. Oh, of course. There's a barrier over it. They changed the security. You weren't kidding, were you? That scorpion and this barrier? All part of your curse. You'll be lucky if that's the worst of it. A direct assault would be a bad idea. What's the plan? Throw the kid into it. There should be an entrance used during the fortress's construction. We'll check that. So basically, you just you want me to walk research. around. I had to, didn't I? I like the overworld themes for this game. And dungeon things. Like, god damn, they sound way better than the battle themes. Lovely seashell. Probably should have shoveled those. Oh, crap. actually guarded which means there's no barrier let's move everyone yeah let's go strike them down stop those guards are yeah, they're wearing they're black not, they're not what they see yeah oh they're all oh god they're all dials okay. 
guards to carry the demon blight. Is this your curse again? Probably. If I'd charged in, that might have turned ugly. Thank you for stopping Oh, me. she said thank you. Don't thank me. He's the one who noticed the danger. In that case, I'll be counting on you to keep watch. After all, we've got a reaper with us. Who knows what else we'll find. Keeper of the Reaper. Keeper of the Reaper. She's saying it's all right to talk. Yeah. Understood. Keeping watch. You go, boy. Okay, I can finally save and end the episode. Normally I wouldn't end this early, but I might as well do it now while I'm on a roll. But first, let me get these items first. Life bottle. I'll make sure I got my crap before I end the episode off. I don't want to go in just yet and be like, oh no, I got it. Oh god. And I will fight this thing. Oh, that's a new move, break boost. Might as well just push it. Is there any around here? A bunch of wolves here. Okay, Scarlet Edge is new. Let's go build all these new moves, man. That's it. Alright, let me see what. Did we still have any cop level yet? Leader, huh? Oh, shoot, I got you play as him. I didn't even think about that. Oh, that is so weird. Hmm, I kind of wish I knew that earlier. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. I thought, I thought it was going to be like one of those games where you're stuck as the main character in the overworld for like ever. It's weird. I, I want to go back to being Velvet. This is weird. Dang. I just play as Lofty said to be funny, but I don't want to play as Lofty said. Me? <laughs> Man, I wish I knew this earlier. God damn it. Oh, I could have I went this entire game without knowing this. I'm up. Let me take point. But he doesn't say anything. That's cool. Me? I like that. I'm up. Nice attention to detail. He doesn't say anything. As the vanguard, I can handle it. Keep up, or I'll leave you behind. Yeah, Lockley doesn't like. Yeah, Lockley doesn't waiting. say nothing. <laughs> Heading out. Don't blame me if this goes sour. I'm not waiting. It's an I can handle. Okay. I'm not waiting. You yeah, let's just stay as Velvet. Everything just doesn't feel right by playing anyone else. What the fashion has changed. Regular clothes, like you said, hat style. Give him a hat. Give that kid a hat. Wait, what's I? Oh, yeah, I didn't check out eyes in yet. Hold on. I 
just don't like that hat style hair, at least. <gasps> now, he looks pers personally cool with an eye patch, but let's just give him a cowboy. Nah, I'm gonna ruin the whole look if I do that. <laughs> Alright, I am out. <laughs>